Are we on right now? All right, welcome to Sutton RV Live, and it is Friday. It's a gorgeous day, and we've got a better weekend even coming up from now. Absolute beautiful weekend, great time to be with your family. But right now, I want to be with my friend Mike Bassett. He's a cool dude. He doesn't like me to say that, but he is. I don't care. Anyway, today we're going to look at some Class A's. Here's a little side view, gorgeous little beauties. We have some gorgeous ones here. Mike, will you show us the south wind? How south doing? wind. How you doing, Mark? Okay, we're back on. Perfect. Okay, so this is a 2003 Fleetwood uh, Southwind, and uh, it's on the, a workhorse chassis. Now, if I was to buy a coach, okay. and it wasn't a custom diesel chassis, I'd definitely look for this workhorse custom chassis. Um, it's, uh, it's got more structure than most. Uh, there's a lot of steel frame in it. It's okay. custom. It's got the 8.1 Vortec Chevy engine, plus the Allison transmission. Those are key. That's what's in a big diesel motorhome. So, but this is a gas coach, and wow. it is a double slide. You got a big encased awning on it, so this is a big patio out here. Absolutely. Um, but if you look at the tires and the way it's put together, it's bigger than most gasoline-powered coaches. Uh, so let's take a look inside. Awesome. Anything with workhorse on it means good. Oh yeah, it's it's what I would look for. Mike's a workhorse. So uh, let's go up front. Uh, this is the cockpit right here. Um, everything's accessible. You've got your power gear uh, landing jacks. Uh, they're all automatic. So you just hit a button, your uh, uh, jacks go down. You got a front entry door, which is handy. If you're uh, stopping at a gas station, you want to get gas. Absolutely. You don't have to go out this side door. Often I see where they don't have the door. Yep. It's great that there's yep. a door. Nice big TV up front, yep. big slide out. So this is a booth dinette and the, the uh, couch is in really good shape still. Yeah it is. It's like they've um, never used. Hide a bed if you got some awesome. kids or other people. Uh, the booth also makes down into a bed. I gotta tell you too the woodwork in here is absolutely stunning. Yeah it's it's very good. Whoever had quality. this kept in great well, condition. Well it does look like brand new. Yeah it really does and it feels like brand new. How many miles does this thing have on it? You know I'm not sure. Um, I think it's, I, it might be digital. 33,000. 33,000. 33, so it's not even broken in. It's Exactly. Um, kind of a unique thing. It does have a propane gas oven. Nice. Looking at it, it's already been used. Microwave. Looks brand new. Yep. Everything Dark surface looks good. countertops. There's no knife marks on it. Yeah, you're right. It's in real good shape. Um, two way refrigerator. Um, back in the bedroom, this is kind of nice because it is a double slide out. You got the big slide out up front and the bed slide here. Oh man, this is a great size bedroom. The other cool thing about this is having the windows here and the slide out and a window over there because you do get cross ventilation. Absolutely. I love uh, the big mirror too, in case you need to check yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Very cool. So Show us the bathroom real quick. Tom, can you go in there? Yeah, take a peek in there. And look at the carpeting, guys. It's it's just in great shape. It it's just blows me away, man. It's like this thing was kept in a warehouse. And people do that, funny enough. Well, again, we've got another great trade that came in. A great value. A great, uh, like you say, Class A with a workhorse chassis. chassis. Yes, which I am finding out is the best around. So, Mike, thanks for showing us this. Sure, it was fun. And uh, appreciate you guys following us, and we'll see you in a little bit. Eagle Cap with Hugh which is just an awesome dude. Human, I like him. Human, that's kind of like cool. You. But I just want to do another Eagle Cap because I heard there was a, well, a model that we've never heard of and that we can't seem to find much online even with the company website. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to show something that, well, nobody knows anything about. So Hugh, show us something that no one knows anything about. Good to see you. Good to see you again, Marcus. Thanks. We'll all be clueless together. Let's be clueless together. Hey, at least you can see it. Absolutely. It is gorgeous, and I and we don't even know if it's for a long bed or a short bed yet. We're still trying to find that out. Right. Our people are on it, though. It's called an 811. It's a brand new model the Eagle Cap just came out with, like Marcus said. We don't have all the specs just yet, but we wanted to show it to you in any case so you could take a peek at some of our inventory. Excellent. See what's happening here at Sutton's. Let's do it. Let's go which way you want to go. This well, way? I guess since we're here, the basics. You got the Happy Jack system, remote control, so ease of use, getting on and off your truck bed. It's gonna be real easy for you at home to be able to do that. I like the big slide and I like the step cut out right there. Yeah, and this is where they're hiding your gen. So you have the Onan 2500, runs off of LP. 
which we've got two LP tanks on the opposing side. So you're gonna be, uh, you know, very self-sufficient. Of course, frameless windows, it's the new look. Um, you can keep them vented with the rain coming down, which happens here on occasion. Hmm. You still get ventilation. So Excellent. Nice. Slide toppers already installed. Which is so smart, people, slide toppers. Yes, you don't have to worry about pine cones and branches and getting in there and gumming up your slide. Not to mention any water that could somehow get in some way. Yes, that'll take care of it. Your first line of defense. You can see we got the nice awning out here. That's really long, too. Yeah, it's yeah, very it's a good size out. awning yeah. for a truck camper. It's excellent. You're going to give you a nice little spot here to hang out. You've got a nice big entry deck, too, you might notice. So access into this, I got the big grab handle. It's nice and low, the first step. I'm real low here. Of course, we're not on the truck. I get it. But you're going to have easy access with the big grab handle. Four steps coming down, a wide platform here. It's really easy to get into. Gorgeous unit. Yes, it is. Um, I guess we'll head inside. Let's look inside. Let's take a peek. So we don't have 14 wow. slides or whatever like we had last week. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not going to need as big a truck, obviously. Uh, we do have the one nice slide out here, though. Got the whole dinette. We've got a nice size fridge freezer combo right here. No little ice box to deal with. You've got pull-out storage under the dinette, which is still locked. Locked. So that's kind of cool. Locked. But you know. Um, I actually like the placement of the TV. And the yeah. stereo, very cool. And that's on a swing arm mount, so you can swing it out, folks, and, and you know, put put this what I would do, drop the table down, make this into a bed, couple pillows back there, you know, cuddle up for, for movie night. You can yeah. do that as well as watch it from the bed, because like I said, it'll swing out. You got a queen bed. Um, if you look up here, these are pretty tall actually. I mean I can right. sit straight up. I don't have to be all hunched over, you know, hurting my back. I've got a nice wardrobe up here, Tom. I don't know if you can see it, but we do have oh, a nice, it's nice and deep. Yeah, yeah. You've got plenty of hanging storage right inside. And it actually goes down in depth. Yes, there's a nice lip under so here. Ah, so you, you can, can hang your shirts there. and pants and then stack some shoes under yeah, there or whatever yeah. you want. You've got a nightstand with the pull out drawer. You'll notice cargo nets all across the front. Very cool. Keep all your goodies handy. I've got more storage over here. You're pretty well set up. Both people can have their own stuff. I love that you both have your own window. You also have the, yes. the, the moon roof, everything. This is true. Talk about this a romantic, a nice awesome place. Sorry, guys, but it is kind of romantic, <laughs> kind of cool. It can be. It can be, and they romance is that. very important for the ladies. <laughs> and actually for men, we just don't know it. <laughs> they tell us. They've got to remind us exactly. once in a while. Uh, your stereo, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, so we all have uh, music on our iPhones or whatever. You can stream it through here. Just control it from your phone. It's nice and easy. This is going to handle all your entertainment needs. Very also, a really big fridge, I'm noticing. Yeah, it's a good size. I mean, this is the same size, again, that we have in most of our travel trailers. Mm -hmm. So you may able to bring more than enough food for two people. All right, we're back here at Sudden RV Live on a beautiful Friday with a big weekend coming up. Tom, you mentioned a couple things that were going on. What was going on? Oh, dang it. I can't remember. I'm going to have to get back to you guys on Cruise at the Gorge. That's right. And one other thing that I have no idea, so I'll let you know in a little bit. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys Denali's because Denali's are absolutely gorgeous. They're luxurious. They're low to the ground. They're made basically, well, I like how Dave put it. It's kind of like a fifth wheel interior, but in a bumper pole. I got to tell you, we got to show you. Dave's over here hiding behind this corner, and we're going to capture him right now and take his time for a few minutes. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Nice, how are you doing? Good to nice see you, you man. Good to see you, too. Everything's you. good. So show us this beauty. This is absolutely gorgeous. Folks, this is one of the nicest luxury bumper poles that I have seen in a long time. It is a true high-end fifth wheel floor plan in a lightweight bumper pull. I gotta start you on the inside first. Okay, okay, I like that. Something different. When you walk in with Whoa. me, wow, you have a superb wide open floor plan, opposing slide outs, the big super slide here, beautiful dinette here, couch, storage just galore around the coach. Boy, it's good quality too, you can tell. Well, you look at the fit and finish. If you're a taller person, you've got the big curvature yeah. in the ceiling. Yeah. You've got your sound surround, dual ducted air throughout. Your fireplace here acts as a space heater. Beautiful television. But when you pay them like this, you just don't see mm -mm. bumper poles with this type of quality and the, the magnitude of the layout. But beautiful, beautiful storage, nice countertop. The island, I love the island. Absolutely, it's gorgeous. And a couple yeah, of I love nice this features. countertop too. 
You have these on both sides. You can put your, like it. your spices here. Canned goods will stay in place. Occasional bottle of something. That's right. Yeah. But you brought up a wonderful point. This is a beautiful high-end Korean style type countertop. One solid piece. Beautiful 25 inch cubic foot oven. Beautiful all stainless steel stove, the microwave. Man, this is class. This beautiful. is absolutely gorgeous. But you will never see a bathroom like this on a bumper pool. Hello. The, yeah, absolutely. This is utterly stunning. When you walk in, it's like you're in, a, in a, an apartment or a hotel. It's a gorgeous bathroom. It's huge. Storage, absolutely. There yeah. literally is room for two people in there without a problem. Easily. And it is a yes. trailer. Yeah. But well, I mean, look at the shower, the uh, oh man, the storage. You won't see a storage like. I mean, this is huge. Just what gigantic the heck? storage. Yeah, yeah, that's just awesome. But this has been superbly laid out for the folks who want to get away, mm -hmm. have some nice luxury, but be able to go play. Absolutely, without the the hassle of something massive. You're not towing 70 feet of fifth wheel. Right. Exactly. You, you've got that in a 30 foot coach here. Very cool. Wait till you come up to the front. This is what I love back here. Oh my gosh. A king size bed, huge, huge storage. But look at the dressers, this is unheard of. Beautiful steel wall bearing, drawer glides. But look at this wardrobe here, guys. Beautiful. This is crazy. Mirrors, drawers, it's just. You know what? It truly feels like we're in a fifth wheel, especially it, it, this front cap area. It truly does, yes. And I neglected, but the LED lighting, look how vibrant it makes it. Yeah. But this big curvature here, you can put a beautiful TV here. High ceilings, lots of windows, windows Absolutely. on both sides. Yeah. King size bed, walk around bed. Absolutely. One nice plus two, you've got 110 plug-ins on either side. Nice. But let me show you my favorite feature on this coach uh -huh. outside. Always yeah. have that special something. Imagine you're at the lake. It's pretty warm. You don't want to mess up on the inside guys look at your outdoor kitchen ho 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 this is set up where you have a quick connect port here for your barbecue nice now you've got extra guests over there's a second quick connect port up here in the front you gotta be kidding you'll so be cooking oh. on, on both sides of the coach that is cool but large refrigerator I and mean, look at the drawers you've got just everything you could imagine is on board this coach another wonderful feature You've got automated levelers front and back. Just push up a button, everything's automated on the coach. Boy, they've thought of everything. They truly did. And Tom, if you could show, I've got the LED lights on here. When that awning is extended, either in or out, you still have the option of using the LED lights. You don't have to, if it's real windy, you still have protection with the LEDs Excellent. on the outside. Excellent. And do they really light up the area? Beautiful, yes. Okay. And what's nice is they're designed, they curve down. You're mm -hmm. not gonna disturb your neighbors. Oh, that's really nice. They're kind of in that purplish blue, so nice ambiance at nighttime. You know, this is for like the weekend gourmet warrior. It, it, I swear. It yes. But Why it, a warrior? I don't know. But big, big awning. Um, nice big propane tanks. Your tongue jack is. So you get the large lighted. tanks for that. I like it. Yeah. And what's nice too is, if in the evening you've got a push button here, LED light strips on the front. You can find your trailer. Absolutely. <laughs> this actually lights up for you too here. Actually lit right now. But you know, I also like this front end. How they've done this for rock chips and stuff like that. That's, That's really exactly smart. what they call this a gator guard. It's a kind of a rough yeah. film that's put on after the fiberglass cap is produced. And it is designed for the rock chips and things you're not gonna damage the front. Plus it looks cool. It really does, yes. I gotta yes. tell you, Dave, this you chose a phenomenal trailer here. Yeah, this thing is absolutely good. gorgeous. And you can't beat the price point and the luxury on a coach like this. Always. Um, George has this on special. Come on down and give us a, a take a look at it, folks. Beautiful, beautiful layout. And ask for Dave Stark. Yes, please. Thank you, guys. Always a pleasure, guys. Thank See you. See ya.